Hi, my name is Trevor Klee, uh, and this is a lesson on mixtures. Uh, I've taken this lesson from my book, The GMAT Quant Bible, which you can find on my Gumroad page, gumroad.com slash Trevor Klee. If you'd like more lessons, you should check out the book. I'll also be releasing more lessons on my YouTube page, so you can like and subscribe. Anyways, on to the lesson. So mixtures are a somewhat common topic. I wouldn't say super common. You'll see a couple of them every test, maybe two, three. Um, and mixtures occur whenever we're mixing things or combining two things to make a mixture of two. Makes sense, it's pretty straightforward. So uh, in mixtures, we uh, mix two compounds to get a third compound. There's this pretty specific way uh, that I like to do it, which is to set up two equations. One equation for the amount, and then one equation for the weight. So one equation for the amount of the compounds, then one, one equation for the amount of the mixtures. So take a look at this example here. So I've got compound X, 30% liquid A, 70% liquid B. Compound Y, 40% liquid A, 60% liquid B. I mix them together, I get compound Z, which is 32% liquid A. So what is the mixture proportion? Well, the mixture proportion can be found, first of all, by saying when I mix all of X and I mix all of Y, I get all of Z. Or I can say when I mix 30% of X and when I mix 40% of Y, I get 32% of Z, right? Because 30% of X is what? Well, it's the amount of liquid A in X. 40% of Y is the amount of liquid A in Y. So how did I get 32% of Z? Well, Z has to be all the liquid A and Z came from A or came from compound X, compound Y. So 30% of X plus 40% of Y gave me 32% of Z. So then I can simply substitute and I get 0.3X plus 0.4Y equals 0.32X plus Y. And I get 0.08Y equals 0.02X. So 4Y equals X or there's a four to one X to Y ratio in the mixture. Cool. All right, so our takeaways here is just this thing. I set up two equations, one for the amount of the compounds, then the other for the weight. So let's take a look at our actual GMAT questions. So Jackie has two solutions that are 2% in sulfuric acid and 12% sulfuric acid by volume respectively. They get mixed together to produce 60 liters, that's 5%. How many liters of the 2% solution will be required? Well, let's say the 2% is liquid A, the 12% is liquid B, or solution B, and when I combine them together, I got 60 liters. Now, what I can say is when I took 2% of A, and I combined it with 12% of B, I got 5% of the 60 liters, right? 2% of A, that's the sulfuric acid I got from A, 12% of B, that's the sulfuric acid I got from B, 5% of 60, that's the sulfuric acid I got from both. All right, now I'm gonna make my life a little easier here because I don't really like dealing with decimals, and I'm going to multiply everything by 100. So I'm going to get 2A plus 12B equals 5 times 60. Right? Cool. Now I can start to uh, substitute in. Um, now, I know A plus B equals 60, so I can substitute in uh, well, actually, I can do something even more clever here. Let's multiply this, all of this by 12. 
12a plus 12b equals 12 times 60. And let's set it up here. So I've got 2a plus 12b equals 5 times 60. So I can get 12a plus 12b equals 12 times 60. Now I can subtract my equations. Minus 10a equals minus 7 times 60. All right. Now I can divide both sides by minus 10, and I get a equals 7 times 6, or in other words, a equals 42. Cool. Kind of makes sense, right? It's a bit over half. If I mix them exactly 50-50, I would have gotten 7% sulfuric acid, right? It would have been exactly the average of 2% and 12%. But because I have 5%, there's probably going to be more than half 2%. And doing out my math, it's 42. All right, let's try another one. So this one, seed mixture X is 40% ryegrass and 60% bluegrass by weight. Seed mixture Y is 5% ryegrass, 75% rescue, fescue. Blech. Mixture of X and Y is 30% ryegrass. What percent of the weight of the mixture is X? Well, again, pretty straightforward. I can say X plus Y equals well, just the mixture, which is just going to say x plus y. Not super important there. I can say 0.4x plus 0.25y equals 0.3x plus y. So 40% of x, the amount of ryegrass in x, plus 25% of Y, the amount of ryegrass in Y, is 30% of the resulting mixture, because that's how the ryegrass of the mixture comes from X and Y. So doing out this math, I get 0.4X, 0.25Y equals 0.3X plus 0.3Y. You can multiply everything by 100 again. I get 4x, 40x plus 25y equals 30x plus 30y. All right, doing out my math, I get 10x, 5y, or I've got 2x equals y. So in other words, 2 thirds of the mixture is going to be, well, let's be careful here. Is two thirds of the mixture going to be X or going to be Y? Well, you can either read this and say, well, 2X equals Y. So there's got to be more Y than X. Or what we can say is something like, if I have 40% and 25% and that came out to 30%, if it was exactly even, right? If it was 50-50, I would have expected 32.5% ryegrass, right? 40 plus 25, 65 divided by 2, 32.5. So I would have expected 32.5% ryegrass because I have less than 32.5% ryegrass. It's weighted towards um, seed mixture Y, which means seed mixture X is less. And how much less? It's 33%, right? 2x equals y. So it's a 2 to 1 ratio, or one third of the mixture is x. All right, so this is mixtures. Uh, they're pretty straightforward. You know, you might see a couple of them on your GMAT. They're worthwhile to know. Um, they are a specific type of word problem. Um, and yeah, so this is mixtures. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Uh, also, please again check out my GMAT quant bible, gumroad.com slash Trevor.
quickly. Thanks for, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for next time.